to light and guide and to serve humanity. Without culture and the relative freedom it implies, a society, even when perfect, is but a jungle, which is why every authentic creation is a gift to the future. Hello, my name is Kidin Wilyu, I'm from BF 5th semester, and I welcome each and every one of you on our first ever virtual event, Unity Voice Hunt 6.0 Come Cultural Day 2020. First of all, we have the welcome address by our respected principal, Dr. Lichumo Eni, followed by a speech on behalf of the Student Council by Ms. Akashi Achumi, Cultural Secretary, Unity College Student Council. Greetings, and I welcome you all to this Unity College Cultural Day and Voice Hunt. It is indeed a remarkable feat and a great achievement to organize this program online. Therefore, I would also like to congratulate the organizing team for coming up this program in a spectacular way. When we talk about the culture, culture is the very essence of humans existing in this world. Culture is characterized by your tradition, by your custom, by your cuisines by your artwork, your music, your religion, you name it. When we talk about the culture, it is the governing body which is related to your customs and traditions that shapes the society. It is through culture that we as a people, we learn how to share, we learn how to motivate, we learn how to live together in a society. Culture is the cornerstone for any person living in a society. The people living in Nagaland are also no less. Wherever you are, wherever you live, have great value in your culture because it is giving you your identity in a society. Therefore, I would also further say that if under any circumstances, if anybody has given up on their culture, I would say that he or she has lost its identity in the society. Therefore, I call upon the students, the faculties, and the audiences today to take pride in your culture. Have honor and glory in the culture that is invested in you. Take it to a greater height because it is going to give you the identity, but at the same time, I would also like to encourage you not to undermine, not to discriminate others 
culture, others' tradition. Because you and I, our culture is not superior or inferior to any other person seated next to you. I would also like to encourage you to take out all the good qualities that is there in your culture, practice it, elevate it to greater heights, and shun away those practices that is not applicable to the society that can be against any human rights ideologies. But having said that, I have full faith in the Unity family that we will take our culture and our identity to a great height and the kind of students that we have, the family that we have, I know and I believe that we will always do better and we will always work on this. Therefore, I would like to again once again congratulate the team for organizing this program and I wish all the best to the participants. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, I am Akashi Ehachimi of BF 5 semester and the current Culture Secretary of Unity College Student Council. As we all know that due to ongoing pandemic, we are unable to organize our annual culture feast and the Unity Voice Hunt this year through offline mode. However, this does not hamper us from embracing the advantage of technology. So here we are presenting you a very special online edition of Unity Voice Hunt Season 6 Come Culture Event. The, rec the recognition of a common humanity is the first step for the celebration of our differences. Differences that inform our culture, our values, our minds, and all the ways of being in the world. It is culture that educates us, unites us, and brings us together and brings common interests. Not only do we become more aware of our roots, but we also gain a sense of pride for the diversity and celebration of our own culture. In fact, culture is a total way of life that people in the society are blessed with. Celebrating various events and functions in colleges have become an integral part and in learning among the students. Such celebration will bring students together to learn the traditional and cultural belief. A strong build is made between the students as they understand and accommodate each other's cultural differences. Apart from building friendship and relationship between the students, such celebration brings happiness and joy between the students. Lastly, we have tried our best in every possible way to make this event a very fruitful one. We hope and pray that we will be able to organize a great and a successful event in the days to come. I would also like to thank each and every one for your time, your contribution and cooperation. I hope that you will have a wonderful time watching the program ahead. Wherever you may be, stay safe, long live Unity College. I am enlightened to present you a special appearance by Mr. Gabriel Pucho, the winner of the Unity Voice Hunt version 5.0 2019. He is a talented freelance performer and is currently pursuing his English honors in Unity College, taking his last time to sing as the winner of the Unity Voice Hunt 5.0 2019. I give time to Mr. Gabriel Pucho. <laughs> I hear is raindrops falling on the rooftop Ooh baby tell me why you have to go Cause it's pain I feel it won't go away And today I'm officially missing you I thought that from this heartache I couldn't escape But I fronted long enough to know There ain't no way And today I'm officially missing you Ooh, Can't nobody do it like you
don't know you at all But I wish that you would call me right now So that I could get through to you somehow But it's safe to say, baby Safe to say that I'm I'm officially missing you Can't nobody do it like you Saying every little thing you do Hey baby, said it stays on my mind That I'm I'm officially missing you You know that I miss you baby, baby Raindrop, oh yeah, and I, I'm officially missing you. I take this time to introduce the most important people of this event, that is the three judges of the Unity Voice Time. Let us now enjoy the power performance of the contestants of Unity Voice Hunt 2020. Respected judges, I'm contestant number one, and the song which I'm going to be singing is More Than Worse by Action. <coughs>
song is heard which is sung by Christina Aguilera so here it goes
Judges, today the song which I'm gonna sing is by Mia Ray, Where I Stand. Well, this song is all about how we deal with our life and our own battle. I have seen a thousand things, a thousand minds, and would they bring to this world, to this home? But where I sell a I don't know I'm an open book I'll tell you everything I know to the darkest corners of my mind. My kingdom is wide, so what I can take the time between the spaces of my mind. Cause I have seen a thousand things, a thousand minds And what they bring to this world and to this home But where I stand, well, I don't know I feel a little trouble walking In directions I don't know of and I'm walking, I'm walking blind Cause I have seen a thousand things, a thousand minds And what they bring into this world, into this home But where I stand, well I don't know And people comes and people goes People like 
I'll never know And if I did, and if I could I wonder when and where this do Cause I have seen a thousand things A thousand minds And would they bring through this world And through this home But where I stand Well I don't know Thank you to break the monotony, we have Attila Mero and Zuben Muli, who will be sharing their special talents in cooking indigenous cuisine. First, we have Attila Mero, become third semester, not forgetting she is also our Miss Fresher of 2019, making a Bengali dish famously known as Sorchi Mach in mustard fish curry. Secondly, we have Zuben Inguli, BA third semester, also a member of the UCSC. He is making a special Lota Naga dish. Hello and Namaste. This is Atila Mero, currently pursuing Mata Bicom in Accounting and Finance here in Unity College. On this special day, that is Voice Hunt on Cultural Day, I'm going to share you guys a very short video of how to make a Bengali dish. There are lots of Bengali dishes. But today, I chose to make a famous one, that is Shoshya Mach, also known as Mustard Fish Curry. So, let's see the cooking process. Hello everyone, I'm Zubini Ingudi from BA 3rd Semester, Section C, Social Honours. I welcome you to this year's Cultural Day and also our Voice of Unity, which is going virtual for the first time. I know it's really hard for us to believe that, you know, who had imagined that everything will be going virtual this year. From online classes, from classes which were offline to online now. And now this events, this prestigious events going online as well. We're not the only ones, so don't worry. But today, what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna cook some lota dishes because today I have to feature and some show, showcase what we lotas have or we, uh, we nagas have in general. So today we have some chicken which we'll be cooking in bamboo. So we will be cooking that ch this chicken in bamboo with some other ingredients and we have this machaha. So machan means lota style ch chutney which will be cooked in sukamas and a lot of other things and followed by the boil. So the boil will be made of squash. So that being said, without further ado, let's start cooking. I hope you guys have fun. Don't forget to wash your hands. It's Corona time. So any hand wash. So now for 10 to 20 seconds at the max, I'll wash my hands. And then I'll move on with the cooking. 
So for the machihan, uh, we have to clean the sukamas, the dry fish, the fermented dry fish. So this is the trick. You're gonna take out the bones after splitting it into two. Take out this part as well, and after that, start cleaning using this one. So this is how it should look like. This is the finished product. Now uh, I'll teach you guys how to clean it. Take out the bones really softly because you don't want the other part of the meat of the fish to get away. So that being said, clean the insides, including the bones. That's it. So now we have ch some chopped garlic. You can uh, use smashed one as, a, as well, but today we'll use the chopped garlic. Tomatoes, chilies, and obviously sukamas. And we're gonna pour on some water. Depends on how much you want to put in. I'll just put in this much. And we're gonna heat it up. And we'll let it cook. Putting some more water. And we'll put some salt. Four or five ingredients, and that's it, perfect. We're gonna come back later. Salt to taste, we'll put more. So now, uh, when the machan is getting prepared, we will uh, prepare the chicken. So this is some chicken, uh, 750 grams. You can even use one kg. And some garlic, chopped garlic and ginger. Uh, red chili, uh, you know, red chilies, and after that, dried ones. And after that, we have this rie. Uh, it's called, known as rie. So it's known as dried bamboo shoot. So it's just basically dried uh, after it's, yeah, so this is the final finished product. And after that, we're gonna put some little bit of, maybe two, three uh, pinches of red chili powder, which which is, you know, smashed or like, you know, made into powder. Before that, we'll put some bit of salt, top it off, and we'll marinate everything together. We will, we shall do that. And so, we'll start with this. Clean this one up and now all the said ingredients are inside. Now we're gonna marinate it for like maybe three minutes, four minutes, and we'll cook it in that bamboo later. So uh, you can see this is the firewood. We're gonna put it, put this um, bamboo shoot, a bamboo. But before that, uh, this bamboo it's hollow. And we've cut in, it in such a way that like, you know, it has a slow kind of a feeling. Why? I'll tell you why. So, when you're done cooking, when you're done uh, with the cooking thing, when you do like one, two tap here, the chicken will fall off easily. So it'll be more convenient, when, rather than like taking it out like that. So it'll come off like this. So when you tap it like here, for maybe two, three times. And this is how it looks. It's somehow like, you're gonna put every here, everything here. So now, uh, what we did was, um, we filled it up, we filled the chicken, wrapped the chicken with the uh, bamboo leaves and we filled it inside this hollow bamboo. Now what we're gonna do is that we actually, you know, close the lid using the fern leaves. But uh, today we don't have the fern leaves, so we, you can also uh, banana leaves as an alternative. So we're using bam banana leaves and using it as a lid and now we're gonna put this in the fire. So now, uh, coming back to the machahan, we have, you know, a taking out of the heat now and we're gonna smash so the fire please now we're gonna put it in the side place it in the side you're never gonna put it right in the middle of the fire it'll burn so just let it cook here so this is uh, how it will look like it's been around uh, 20 minutes already and it's cooking right now and don't worry it, uh, the meat won't get affected so this is the machahan we're gonna start plating the chicken is also done over there in the left. Now we're gonna plate it. So just rice and some squash, which is boiled. Um, and after that, uh, in the machan, we uh, added some um, eggplants at the end for five minutes. And now it's really nice. And we're gonna put it here. We're gonna put as much as you want. And some more of this uh, eggplants. That's it. So now we're taking the chicken out. Wow. So this is it. This is a chicken. Oh. It might fall down. Mm, you can look at this steam now. The outcome, chicken, mm, you know, cooked in bamboo. I'm um, contestant number five and the song that I'll be singing today is called Hallelujah by Alexandra Burke.
Lesson number six, and the title of my song is I Wouldn't Give Up by Jason Mars.
Cause even the stars they burn Some even fall to the earth We got a lot to learn God knows what we're there I don't wanna be someone who walks away so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make Our differences, they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools In case we got here, we got a lot at stake And in the end, it's you my friend at least We didn't stand for us to work, we didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend Without the world, even then, I had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am. I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love, still looking love. Looking now, well I won't give up on us. God knows I'm so deep in love. We got a lot to learn. God knows we're worth it. Respected judges and all my friends, I'm contestant number seven, and the title of my song is Kese Dua.
contestant number is eight, and I'll be presenting Forever by Luis Capaldi. Call me of God, I wish that I've been sober. Still here we are, back in hungover, night and night, just like old times so over under the exilite, as beautiful as ever. I really wish that I dressed up a little better. No regret is a word we say. We can't go back again, darling. Nobody said it would last forever, but that doesn't mean we didn't try to get there. Well, I never said that we would die together, but that doesn't mean it was a lie. Remember. Stony one, sometimes he does a talking. I hope you know. I wish you all the love you're looking for, darling. Nobody said it would last forever, but that doesn't mean we didn't try to get there. Well, I never said. enjoyed the mouthwatery indigenous cuisines let us now be enthralled by indigenous dances which is also a form of art and also a way to keep ourselves fit in this time of pandemic <music> Pagunero mohonai, Pagunero mohonai, Monomata no mohuai, Rongini bihur, Nisha kona kashe niye jai, Pagunero mohonai, Pagunero mohonai, Monomata no mohuai, Rongini bihur, Nisha kona kashe niye jai, Pagunero mohonai. Chill me, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
কোন চেনা দেশের তরে তোর সাথে ইতে পান তরে মোর মনের প্রজাপতি নাচি নাচি ঘুরি ঘুরি উড়ি উড়ি উড়ে যায় মন হারানোর ঠিকানায় ভাগুনের মোহনায় মন মাতানো মোহায় রঙ্গিনি বিহুর নেশা কোন আকাশে নিয়ে যায় ভাগুনের
by David Slatter.
Hello everyone, my name is Toli Tolkini. I am from BA third semester section A. Today I will be talking about the Sumi indigenous game called Akikiti. During the old era, physical fitness did not hold great importance. It was needed only to accomplish day-to-day -day chores. Back then, no one had thought that the regular physical activity like running, swimming, fighting, etc. would evolve to such an extent that it will become athletic and competitive. There are a large number of games, both indoor and outdoor, played all over the world at a very high level. But there are some sports that are not evolved yet and are losing its permanence. One such sport is Akikiti, kick fighting, which is played specifically by the Sumi tribe in Nagaland, a northeastern state in India. It looks like a mixed version of combat sports and mixed martial arts. While there are basically no rules in mixed martial arts, Akikiti is strictly restricted to kicking and has quite a few strict sets of rules. Akikiti is not like any other sports. The unique thing about it is that the soul is the whip only weapon. In this game, the player has to maintain their balance throughout the show. They have to stand on the left leg with kicking from the right leg without falling on the ground. The rules of the games are quite strict. Using your hand is considered full. The game is usually 3 to 4 minutes long and consists of 3 runs. The last person standing after kicking down his opponent is considered is declared a winner. Though not many have an idea about this game, it is present from a very ancient period. It is practiced in Nagaland for ages. The sport is essentially promoted in Naglin and is on the verge of extinction. Extinction of modern games can be counted as one of the reasons for the lack of recognition shown towards it. In the present era, Akikiti is practiced by the local Sumi indigenous tribe. Few associations in Naglin are promoting this game among the young generation. The main purpose of the game is to promote physical fitness among lads. Thank you. Our tradition is our identity. Hello everyone, my name is Palang Jitung and I belong to Dimasa Kachari community. In Dimasa Kachari community, there are many traditional indigenous games, but amongst all, Primi Nelayaba is one of the most popular and performed games of Dimasa Kachari. Primi Nelayaba means pushing a wooden ball between the two individuals to test who is stronger. Women Nelayaba is a popular traditional combat game of Dimasa Kachari, usually played between the two male competitors. traditional games, each competitor trying to push one another out of a drawn circle using their whole strength and body weight. By means of a traditional rice pounders claps in their arms at each end. One who succeeds in pushing his competitor out of a drawn circle twice in three rounds is declared him as a winner. This traditional game is performed only by the male member. This traditional game is normally performed in a festival and some other special occasions. In olden days, these traditional games are performed to impress the king and the queen through their strengths, body weight, tricks and techniques. It is one of the most oldest and historic traditional game of Dimasa Kachari. It has been from since 12th century. Judhari. I am very sure all of you are well acquainted with Ms. Zarini Kitan of BA 5th semester who is also a runner-up of Unity Voice Hunt 2019. 
She will be presenting us a modern Lotha song titled Futsukum, praying to God for reforms in our society. special uh, judge here, Sihibuno Chuzo, who has graciously accepted our invitation to be a part of Unity Voice Hunt uh, 6.0, the online edition. And um, it has been quite challenging for the judges, that is for sure, because uh, the platform is quite different. We have uh, different uh, settings of music and the you know, singers are like uh, presenting their songs from their own way possible uh, without using a uniform uh, sound system. So it has been quite challenging for three of you, that is Tiwuno uh, Chuzo, Longchan and La Longchar and Tongpang Waling. Thank you so much for sacrificing your time and your you know uh, expertise to uh, identify the best singer for the year 2020. And without much delay, I would like to introduce our 
uh, colleagues here also. We have Ms. Okano Belho from the Department of Commerce. We have uh, Esther Chonbeni Kikong, uh, the head of the Department of English. Then we have Ace Amongla Wali. We have uh, her. She is, uh, I should say, the lady behind this event also, Ace Amongla Wali. She is from the Department of Political Science. And we have Longchan La Longchar from the Department of Education and uh, Tongbang Wali from the Department of English. Of course, uh, the rest of them will be joining us very shortly, so we will introduce them as the proceedings uh, go. <laughs> okay. I think for me, I would say five, five on ten um, tasks, which is um, it's difficult because of the um, online recording that was done. And uh, the recording that they have done was through the microphone, which the dictions were not uh, clear enough. It, it was not audible enough. Or maybe some of them are still uh, curious where to, where to watch the camera or uh, somewhere else. But, you know, on one part, I would say it's, it's a nice platform for virtual competitions where okay for me i think i would rate it uh six maybe why because uh for me like uh maybe i'm not a professional okay but for me it was a little tough in a sense because especially initially i was a little confused with the final song and the audition song as well that's why i had to look uh, into it actually i found that with regard to you know the song selection they did for their audition and for the fi final round i found that some of them they could not really work on their you know final round that was something that i faced all right so it was very uh, i mean uh, it was difficult i should say you know i was just uh, looking into both the sides of so audition and the final round as well that's why i think i would give it a, a six Okay. Mm, as far as I'm concerned, I would give I would I would give a point of eight because the students were not given enough time to prepare for the songs, and it's not easy to just come up with songs. And and of course, sing. the acoustics were a problem, but that that is something like we cannot help it also because songs are always better when they are sung in the studio, right? Or uh, I would give them, you know, like maybe six, seven, not because they are my students, but because the, for the effort, participation, of course, it was challenging because uh, we, I saw the marks and then all of us had different, uh, different points given different mm -hmm. participants. So, but overall, it was fun because this is the first online voice hunt and it's a privilege that I get to, you know, get, I get to have a say. So that's also. Honestly, um, I have enjoyed um, watching every contestant and discovering new talents and unique voices. And there are some impressive potentials that I think for especially contestant number five and six, I would say, that uh, I identified that the contestants have, have great vocal range, power and control. They put their emotions into the song. The slurs are quite really fine. And um, I would want to say uh for these two contestants especially thank you uh, okay, for me you. yeah for me i also you know uh, really enjoyed all right really enjoyed both the uh, audition and the final song for contestant number six all right contestant number six so it was uh, very impressive like uh, overall uh, how we were to judge accordingly we were distributed with 40 points, right? In total, 40. So accordingly, I was judging. And I think uh, this person really did a good job uh, with regard to all the other points. Yeah. Uh, sir, I will, to be honest, I I really like the vocal range of contestant number two. I, you know, he, uh, my, my personal view, you know, I, I like the way he, because he was sitting and singing and then sitting and singing and then the range so he you know he hit or what do you call it so it was nice so i 
And then the contestant number, I think uh, five, I have uh, heard him sing many times. So I know him. So yeah, he was good. And then uh, there, there's this one contestant, you know, he sang better during the audition than the real, uh, what is that? The performance. A choice of songs. Some songs were too high for them, I guess. So that's my view, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like I said earlier, like I said earlier, the I wish the recording done through the cat phone or an earpiece if you're recording through the uh, cell phone because um, it really when I record my own podcast song or any other performance or virtual uh, virtual performance for church, I always put a cat phone. Or, uh, or an airpiece and then record through the phone, which becomes very audible. And um, the vocal clarity comes out, the pronunciation comes out, the vocal range, everything, the intonations are really clear. So I would encourage that. Okay, so I will, uh, the, uh, the three judges, we were, uh, we were very fair. We didn't even talk with each other because we didn't even meet. So all of us, you know, we gave different points according to the performances and, uh, you know, whatever we heard. So after doing the telly, uh, the highest, okay, the winner with a score of 91. And then we have two runners up. They share a point, point of 86 each. So that's all from my part. Sorry. to Makan Lupton of BA First Semester Section B and KG Tube BA Section C. Congratulations. Okay, before, before announcing the winner, I would like to add the thank you Unity um, College Demarker for having me as a judge. And it was such an honor to be judging the Voice Hunt 2020, though I thought virtual competition was not as a live event. I was wrong. I instead uh, enjoyed so much from all the contestants. That's the number five, Zuban Inguli from BA3C. A big congratulations to contestant number five. Respected principal, administrator, teachers, and all my fellow friends, I, Tali Kapalong Kumar, General Secretary, extend a warm greetings from the Office of the Unity College Student Council. Unity Voice Han is not just a competition, it's a tradition. And I'm both happy and proud that we have kept this tradition alive, even in such uncertain times. Organizing an event like this is not an easy task, even more difficult when it's done virtually. The success of this program was because of the collective efforts from everyone inside the college family. So I congratulate everyone because we have made this happen together. I would like to thank our principal and administrator for immense support towards this endeavor. I would also like to thank our Dean of the Students, Dr. Sir Temjan Wapang, and the six guides, Ms. Amongla, Ma'am Esther, Ms. Vizosano, Sir John, Sir Timothy, and Sir Tongpang for their guiding presence throughout the course of preparation. A special thanks to all the participants for the spirit that you have shown even in such circumstances. You have all been an inspiration to us. A big thank you to all the audience for your presence.